Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province announced a policy to eradicate real estate transaction related crimes. This policy is comprised of a number of proactive measures including those for the preemptive identification of speculative investment risk areas and others for the prevention of such investments. Announced on May 4th, this policy is geared to eradicate illegal real estate brokerage practices as well as speculative investments through effective practical measures. 경기도는 부동산 거래 불법 행위와 투기 근절을 위한 실효성 있는 강력한 대책을 수립하여 공정하고 투명한 부동산 거래 질서를 확립하고 도민의 주거 생활 안전과 피해를 예방하고자 합니다. To eradicate abnormal real estate sales activities, the province will expand the designation of permission-based land transaction areas and continuously monitor such activities. 또한 경기도는 전국 최초로 기획 부동산 주의보 제도를 운영하겠습니다. 도내 토지 거래 동향을 지속적으로 모니터링합니다. Gyeonggi Province will release real estate sales risk area lists to prevent residents from incurring damage. In addition, the province will strengthen crackdowns on false transactions and price collusion while also engaging in observations and investigations of real estate transactions. 이 밖에도 기회 부동산 불법 행위 신고 센터를 경기도 콜센터에 운영하고 기회 부동산의 토지 분양 폐해 차단을 위한 관계 법령 개정도 추진할 계획입니다. Through multiple measures to respond to illegal activities and restore the real estate transaction order, Gyeonggi Province is doing its utmost to realize housing stability for residents. Gyeonggi Province recently began online broadcasts to aid the local economy. Titled Wise Consumption, dating around 31 cities and counties, these broadcasts feature celebrities who use disaster-related basic income in backstreet areas around the province. Small businesses in backstreet areas, like here in Yongin City, are hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, with sales having plummeted far below normal. Gyeonggi is paying disaster-related basic income to all residents as consumption support to help the local economy overcome the COVID-19 crisis. In these broadcasts, celebrities will visit backstreet commercial areas, including traditional markets in the 31 cities and counties of the province, and use disaster-related basic income themselves. During the first broadcast, which was released via YouTube as well as a personal platform, a social commentator, a comedian, a columnist, a literary critic, and a popular YouTuber discussed how to use disaster-related basic income while communicating with viewers. This first broadcast, which took place on April 27th, attracted more than 3,000 viewers. The Wise Consumption, dating around 31 cities and counties program, will feature 31 events in rotation through the cities and counties of the province until June 30th. With over 100 days having passed since the first COVID-19 case was confirmed in Korea, a special concert was held at a COVID-19 treatment center in Gyeonggi Province for those struggling to fight the disease. Held outdoors at the Gyeonggi COVID-19 treatment center in Yongin City, this concert featured classical piano music performances. Patients who are struggling while living in isolation appreciated the performances through open windows, occasionally recording and applauding, while medical personnel, as well as assisting public officials and military personnel, drew comfort from the music. 
지쳐있는 상태였는데 마음의 위로가 돼서 담을 마, 어, 의료인으로서 다시 마음을 다잡을 수 있었고요. 이 환자분들이 이제 퇴원하시는 날까지 건강하게 집으로 돌아가는 날까지 어, 더 열심히 해야 되겠다. This concert was organized by Gyeonggi Province for patients and treatment center personnel who are fighting against COVID-19 on the front lines. This was the first such event organized at a COVID-19 treatment center for mild cases. 그리고 심적으로 너무 여유가 없으실 것 같아 가지고 조금이라도 조금 위안이 될수 있게끔 이렇게 좀그좀 그 마음의 평화를 좀 찾으시는 그런 간절한 마음에서 좀 준비를 했습니다. Gyeonggi Province will organize various other cultural events at weekly intervals at all COVID-19 treatment centers in the province. To aid artists who are experiencing difficulties during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Gyeonggi Arts Center opened its performance facilities for broadcasts so as to provide artists with performance opportunities while enabling residents to enjoy diverse performances at home. Pyeongtaek Farmers Music is a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage item as well as a Korean National Intangible Cultural Asset. However, with all performance schedules having been cancelled indefinitely due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the 40 members of this music group are experiencing difficulties. This broadcasting program is geared to help artists left adrift during the COVID-19 pandemic. This program is part of Gyeonggi Province's Cultural New Deal policies. Beginning with live performances by provincial art companies in March, this program has been expanded to encompass more than 200 art groups in the province. The video contents of performances are created through the use of five cameras and broadcast via online platforms, including YouTube. 어, 자신들을 홍보할 수 있는 영상 콘텐츠를 어, 생산받게 되고요. 도민들께 어, 음, 영상 플랫폼을 통해 제공함으로써 비대면 문화 향유의 기회를 확대하는 데그 의의를 둘수 있습니다. 많은 어, 문화 예술 단체들이 또 공연 단체들이 이런 어떤 그 영상 콘텐츠를 제작해서 어, 서비스할 수 있게끔 그렇게 지원하는 그런 프로그램을 음, 만들어야 될것 같습니다. 저희도 열심히 지원하겠습니다. More than 200 art groups will present performances via this broadcasting program until May 25th. On April 29th, the 343rd Extraordinary Session of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly ended with the second general meeting that saw the passage of 107 items, including an ordinance that enables payment of disaster-related basic income to foreign residents. 의사일정 제23항 경기도 재난기본소득 지급조례 일부 개정 조례안을 표결하겠습니다. 투표해 주시기 바랍니다. The passage of this ordinance amendment provides a legal basis for the payment of provincial disaster-related basic income to foreign residents of the province. 의사일정 제23항은 가결되었음을 선포합니다. Approximately 109,000 foreign residents of Gyeonggi Province, including 48,000 immigrant spouses and 61,000 permanent residents, are now entitled to a provincial disaster-related basic income payment of 100,000 Korean won. The general meeting also saw the passage of Korea's first ordinance for the support of U.S. military base-dependent women, which aims to help these women regain status and improve their welfare. 표결 결과를 말씀드리겠습니다. 재석원 102명 중 찬성 101명, 기권 1명으로 의사 일정 제 92항은 가결되었음을 선포합니다. With the passage of this ordinance, women dependent on US military bases can receive housing support as well as livelihood cost support. A total of 107 items, including ordinances for local economic promotion and social housing promotion, were passed during the general meeting. The 344th Extraordinary Session of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly is slated to open on June 9th and will run until June 24th. 
Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.